Before you watch my video, I just wanted to apologize for mispronouncing the name of the Babakanoeg tribe. Next time, I will do my due diligence and research it beforehand. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to History with Miss McGill. Today is Thanksgiving 2020, and it's been a long year. I love Thanksgiving. It's honestly my favorite holiday. I love the food and gathering with family, although this year will be a little different. I love taking the traditional hike, although my kids gripe and moan. I am hoping that the rain clears soon so we can take that hike. To me, Thanksgiving is a day to give thanks for whatever is good in your life. Thanksgiving is a time of coming together, even if that is through Zoom. And so in sticking with my history theme, I'm going to give you the rundown on how America's traditional Thanksgiving came about. Long before settlers came to the East Coast of the United States, the area was inhabited by many Native American tribes. The area surrounding the first Thanksgiving site had been home of the Wapanag people for over 12,000 years. Carrying 101 men, women, and children, the Mayflower traveled the ocean for 66 days. It was supposed to land in New York, but due to weather, stopped its voyage early in what is now called Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The settlers prepared for winter using supplies from the Wapanag people. A Wapanag leader who spoke English, Squanto, helped the English grow corn and use fish as fertilizer. After a while, a formal agreement was made between the English settlers and the Wapanag tribe to stand together against any other natives that might attack. In celebration of the agreement and fall harvest, the English and the Wapanag gathered together in celebration. This meal was not like our traditional Thanksgiving. It consisted of deer, corn, shellfish, and roasted meat. They played ball games, sang, and danced. The whole celebration was not over in a day. In fact, it was a three-day celebration. The first Thanksgiving tradition only lasted a generation. The Wapanag people do not share in the popular reverence for the traditional New England Thanksgiving. For them, the holiday is a reminder of betrayal and bloodshed. Now, let's look at some of the other Thanksgiving Day facts. Although President Washington declared a day of national thanks after the Battle of Saratoga, which ended the Revolutionary War, it wasn't until 1863 when President Lincoln established a national holiday in November to give thanks for general blessings and that's when the holiday began to look like the one we celebrate today. Thomas Jefferson refused to declare a day of national thanks, thinking it would blur the separation of church and state doctrine. But what about Thanksgiving Day football tradition? The first Thanksgiving football game was a college match between Yale and Princeton in 1876. Who was the first president to pardon a turkey? Well, that was JFK. But tradition did not really start until George H.W. Bush in 1989. The Macy Day Parade has been a tradition since 1924. And there was a parade today, although without its traditional crowd of attendees. FDR tried to push back Thanksgiving to give the Christmas shopping season an extra week in 1939. The country celebrated Thanksgiving 
the third week of November instead of the fourth. 46 million turkeys are prepared on Thanksgiving in America each year, and 88% of Thanksgiving meals are turkey, which leaves another 12% for other choices, such as ham. This somewhat traditional turkey trot has been around for over a century. The first one known is the YMCA of Buffalo, New York, which held the turkey trot in 1896. On Thanksgiving Day 2011, runners at the YMCA Turkey Trot in Dallas, Texas, dressed up in throws and set a Guinness World Record for the largest gathering of people dressed as turkeys. 661 people came dressed as turkeys. The Butterball Turkey Talk Line answers almost 100,000 calls each year. In fact, one of my favorite episodes of The West Wing is where President Bartlett calls the Butterball Turkey Helpline to ask about how to cook stuffing. However you choose to celebrate this year, I hope you are safe and happy. From my family to yours, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And as always, keep on learning. Bye.